Hey guys, Tom here. We're back in the bathroom today and on this Homecraft Chronicle, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to install this bathroom vanity cabinet. Stick around. Okay guys, first step is always, I'm, I got my cabinet out and I read the instructions. It's pretty straightforward, but still, you got to make sure you have everything you need and you're ready to do this project and it's going to take you maybe 15, 20 minutes at the most. Next, if you're hanging any kind of a cabinet, I recommend you hang it in a stud. The directions do say you can use an anchor and if you don't have any studs where you're hanging your cabinet, you're gonna have to use an anchor. A small bathroom cabinet like this, if you put four, at least four, I would say six at least, you could probably get away with it. Make sure they're good heavy duty anchors. I have a video on Home and Garden Mere Mortals that will give you a little overview on anchors. The kind of anchors you use for this, my directions recommend using a toggle, so I would say you always go with what your directions say, but I'm gonna hang it in a stud. I know there's studs in this wall. Uh, I've already seen where they are, so I'm just gonna find them real quick. Like I've said before, you can do the old knock test and listen for solid as opposed to hollow in the wall. See, that's real hollow right here that's solid I'm not gonna kid you there were there was a cabinet here already and there's holes in the wall so I know that's where they drilled into the stud but if they weren't there see I have a hollow spot right there so I'm just gonna take a this is actually uh, one of those wall hooks that you can use to hang pictures and stuff so I'm just gonna stab it through where I think there's a stud, yeah, it's right there. Because I went through and I couldn't go any further. So next, modern construction is built walls on 16 inch centers. So all I have to do is measure from this hook over 16 inches, and that's gonna be my next stud. So I'll just make a mark there. But I'm not gonna take it for granted, I'm gonna check. So I do the same thing Stick it in, and I hit again, so I'm good. I know where the studs are. How do I translate those marks to my where I want to hang the, the cabinet? So I know these are my marks, and you, actually there's two ways you can do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to eyeball up onto this light and just put a piece of tape there. I put marks up on the light. Secondly, I'm going to measure over from this corner wall to my two marks. I have five and a quarter and 21 and a quarter. So when I hang the cabinet up, I'm just going to move over that far. I'm going to set my cabinet in place to see where I think I want it. I mean, I'm laying mine right on top of the tile because that's where the old one was. And I want it kind of centered over the sink. I mean, you can use, I can use the old light fixture too as a help. So I'm gonna say that's about right. So next, I wanna make sure it's level. So I just put my level on the top and that's actually not level. When you're hanging a cabinet like this, especially as close to this wall as I am, you kind of have to compromise between level and straight and square. Because just say this side wall was all out of plumb, right? And I hung this level, but it's not even with the side wall. You could tell that. And you're almost better off hanging it even with the side wall. So you'd have the same space all the way down. Even though the cabinet may not be level, it's going to look better. I'm level and my wall is pretty square. So I had the same distance all the way down which I'm happy with. So now I just have to mount it to the wall and that's pretty straightforward. I'm going to use these. It's called a cabinet screw. It has a, a white head on it so it'll blend in. If you were using a regular screw, this is a pan head screw so it's got a flat bottom. But if you were using a regular screw like it looks like a drywall screw that's got like a it's called a bugle head bottom you would need something that's called a cabinet washer. So I'm gonna pre-drill a hole, get one up, 
and then I'm going to level it up and move on. Okay, I know this is the high side, and this side's going to go up, so I can put a screw in here just to hold it. Okay, I'm through. Okay. Easy as that. One down, three to go. I'm happy with that. Those measurements we took earlier, I could just go five and a quarter from the wall. Which is right there. It's actually a little off from what I had. So, it's always good to double check. Like it always, like the saying goes, Measure twice, cut once, or in this case, drill once. That screws in, the rest is easy. And that's really all there is to it, guys. I have to clean the sawdust out of the cabinets, put the shelf pins in, put the shelves where I want them, and that's it and it was a 15 minute project. You can do it if you need to update a cabinet in your bathroom, replace a cabinet, you just want a new cabinet, it's really simple to do. I prefer that you find a stud. If you can't do the knock and explore test, buy yourself a stud finder. They're 10, 15 bucks, it's worth it. Uh, but like I said, if you have to use the toggle, I would use more than four, especially depending on the size of your cabinet. As always, just refer to the instructions and that's going to be your best guide as to how to hang your particular cabinet. I hope you found this video helpful and if this is your first time here, please subscribe to the Homecraft Chronicles and you won't miss any of the projects I have going on. Until next time, remember, take care of yourself and your home. I'll see you real soon.